It's the summertime scramble. Short-staffed rural hospitals closing down emergency rooms. The latest victim, Dawson Creek. There's just intense frustration right now going on in the Peace Region. The local emergency room closed over the weekend due to not being able to cover nursing shifts. And along with Chetwind Hospital, Dawson Creek remains on a diversion Monday evening, with Fort St. John the closest open ER in the region. I've used the example of telling somebody in Langley that they would have to drive to Kelowna to go see a doctor in case of an emergency. This is just unacceptable. British Columbia not alone. In Alberta, they post an interactive map showing diversions. And Ontario is also experiencing similar issues in rural communities. I'd argue we're doing quite a bit better than some other provinces, but honestly, people in Dawson Creek don't care whether things are worse in Alberta or Ontario. They want things to be better in Dawson Creek, and I'm with them. For example, Dawson Creek has added 17 net new nurses this year. Yet, with climbing demand, it hasn't been enough to keep up. You got to cover 24-7, 365. So we've really got six things in place for that. We're hiring more staff and you see this. The Clearwater has been a recent success story. Although diversions could be around the corner, they added additional housing for healthcare workers and avoided those diversions for 15 months. It's mayor with advice to other communities struggling through the healthcare crisis. We're going to go back to recruiting. We're going to go back to doing the smart things, which is, uh, you know, talking positively about the team here. Uh, they won an award this spring. It was fantastic. You need a good work environment. And if your, your community is not backing that and your health authority is not backing that, you're never going to solve this problem. And although positive thoughts alone won't solve the crisis, it doesn't hurt to ensure the health care system doesn't go down. Richard Zussman, Global News, Victoria.